Welcome, welcome, namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's, a, it's a momentous day in history today. Um, it shall go down in the history books. It's the inauguration of Kamala Harris as vice president, the first Asian and Jamaican heritage woman in such a senior role, a such a powerful role. So it's a great day for celebration. And of course, um, welcoming Joe Biden with his commitment to climate change, uh, to um, working together to prevent climate change, to tackle coronavirus, so and to move towards greater racial justice and equity one of this is sort of three of his four pillars. Um, so a great platform on which the United States president is standing and is going to be delivering over the next four years. So very special day. So our practice today is going to be, I was inspired by um, Joe Biden's Twitter feed earlier today when he said a new day for America. And it's a new day for America, a new day for the world. And when uh, in Indian traditions, we have a new day, a new beginning, we often celebrate it and greet it by invoking the blessings of Ganesh, Ganesha, the elephant god, the elephant headed god, who is the remover of obstacles, who stands guard at the doorway as we move through one period into the next, towards prosperity, towards success, towards new opportunities, new potential. And so we'll be doing a Ganesh inspired practice today. Let's come into our easy seat, a comfortable seat, grounding down through your sit bones, lengthening through your spine. Our mudra for today is the Ganesha mudra, and for this mudra, you have two options, depending on which one feels more um, comfortable for you. The first, bringing your hands into Anjali Mutra. So we'll start with this one. This is the first option. And then pivot your hands so that you slide your fingers towards the inner wrists and towards the elbows. So you just pivot at the heel here. And then slide your hands slightly apart and then hook the ends of your fingers to create a clasp. This is the Ganesh Mudra. Your left hand is closest to your heart, looking out. Your right palm is further away and looking back towards you. So that's one option. So this you can see you have holding up the mudra here at your heart space. If that doesn't feel too comfortable, then what you can do is again have your left palm and right palm on top and then slide it again. And this time when it's in your lap, have your left palm closest to the earth so that the left palm is looking up towards you and the right palm is on top. And this you can rest on your lap. So this is a little bit more sustainable. So find the variation that feels as if you can hold it. Closing your eyes. Or gazing downwards. Become aware of your breath, the natural rhythm of your breath. As we hold Ganesh Mudra here, either at the heart or in our lap, our fingers gently clasped together. And as you breathe in and out, notice the rise and fall of your breath, the rise and fall of your chest and how that movement may travel along your arms. So especially if you're holding your hands at your heart, you might notice that your elbows rise and fall gently as you breathe in and out. You 
Ganesh Mutra invokes the courage to overcome obstacles and to prepare for a new beginning, a new start, a new day, a new dawn. And invokes the courage or the fearlessness that we may need to step forward into a new period. And now I'm going to invite you to add a breath, a pranayama to your mudra. And this may feel counterintuitive. As we breathe in, pull your palms, your hands slightly away so that you sort of tense through your hands, your fingers, your elbows, as if you're pulling your hands away, maintaining the grip. That's on the exhale. On the inhale, soften the grip, the clasp, the elbows, the arms, the wrists. Exhaling, extending through your arms into your fingers so that you feel as if you're drawing your hands away from each other whilst maintaining the clasp. And then softening on the inhale. I'll guide you through. Inhaling, stay relaxed and soften through your arms, your hands, your clasp. As you exhale, begin to extend through your elbows as if you are drawing your palms apart, maintaining the clasp. Inhaling, softening. Welcoming, inviting this new dawn, this new energy, new pran. As you exhale, extend direct active energy through your arms into your hands. Offering up energy, commitment, courage, inhaling to soften, to receive, to welcome. Exhaling to extend and activate through your hands, offering protection, offering up protection and courage, helping to overcome any obstacles that may be on in our path, the days, weeks, months, years ahead. Inhaling to soften, three more like this. Exhaling to activate and extend, offering up your energy, your courage to protect, to clear obstacles so that we can move forward together. Inhaling to soften, invite and welcome energy, this new energy, so that you can be a part and you can receive from your community this new burst of energy, potential, opportunity. And then releasing your breath, the Ganesh Pranayam. Releasing your mudra, bringing your hands back into Namaskar, palms together at the heart. Inhale opening with om three times and for each om offer the om up to those who are responsible and accountable for democracy for justice for equity those in power and with privilege and the community the people whom they lead govern Inhaling fully. Om. Inhale. Om. Inhale. Om. 
hands to your eyebrow center. Namaste and a welcome. Welcome to this new day, this new beginning. And we're invoking the energy, the qualities of Ganesha, Lord Ganesha, the Lord of new beginnings. When we have new horizons ahead, he brings abundance of opportunities allowing us to be grateful for these new opportunities, these new beginnings, so that we may pass through this doorway from a, where we've been to where we're going. And passing through that journey, through that doorway of opportunity, of new beginning, with humility and generosity, sense of giving and receiving, of sharing, of knowing that we are in this place, in this moment, through the collective effort of others. The opportunities, the privileges that we hold come from others. Let's move your block out of the way. Our mantra for today is going to be Om Gam Ganapata Yena Maha. Invoking the enlightened energy of Ganesh so that he, so that we call upon his blessings for our good beginnings, our good, positive, abundant beginnings. Hands on the earth. Take a moment here. As you exhale, lengthen, open your heart, lift through the heart space. Take a moment here. Inhale, reach up and over. Bring the thumb to the ring finger for Prithvi Mudra, the element of earth, so that we are moving forward from a place of foundation and stability that has been going to be built and constructed over the next few months. Inhale up and over to the other side. After a period of turmoil, conflict, turbulence, we need to regather rebuild, reconstruct, move over to the other side with your breath one more time. Back to center. Let's swing our arms around and come directly onto our knees. Tops of your feet pressing into the earth. Spread your fingers wide, connect through the finger pads and the knuckles of the palm where the fingers meet the palm, that bony area there. Inhale, draw the navel up towards your spine. Take a moment here. As you exhale, lift your tailbone. Dip your lower back, shine your heart, lift your gaze. Exhaling to round through. Three times here in this motion. Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Take a moment here, back to neutral. Reach out through your right leg, tuck your toes, push out through your right heel. Take a moment here, inhale, left fingers to the sky. Ring and thumb connected in Prithvi Mudra. Take your gaze up, looking up towards the sky. So we have the secure foundation. We're building our secure foundations and we're looking forward from this place. One more breath here. As you exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Bring the left ear and shoulder to the mat. Now you can keep your right hand on the earth for stability and balance. If you feel secure here, you can lift your right fingertips up to the sky. Balancing here. Exhale, right palm to the earth. Inhale, lift up your left hand, reach forward. Take a moment here. Bring that right foot, right leg so it's parallel to the earth. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Take a moment here. Let's come on to our forearms. And lift your right leg as high as you can reach. You can energize through the toes. 
So feeling the foundation, the security of the earth, yet also reaching, feeling as if you are reaching out, looking forward, being active and dynamic here. One more breath. As you exhale, let's cross the right leg over to the left and bring the right toes, the ball of the right foot onto the earth here. A deep twist here. So you have the ball of the right foot over to the left. Toes are tucked here. Push out through that right heel. And let's rise up onto our hands here. Take a moment. Tuck in that right knee so that you have your legs as if you're crossing them here. Now we're going to move into shoelace pose, but we're only going to come as far back as feels comfortable for us. So walk your hands back. Some of us may hover here with our sit bone quite high. That might be enough because we want to protect our knees. Some of us may be able to lower down because we don't have stories to tell with our knees. Come to the point that feels comfortable for you. We're all in the same pose, having the same experience in terms of where we're um, working into our legs. But we're working at slightly different angles. One breath here in shoelace, wherever you are. And then slide your hands back along the earth, come back onto your knees, uncross your legs, reposition your knees underneath your hips, sway your hips from left to right. And then let's look over to the left. C shape with the spine. Inhale back to center. Let's look over to the right. Inhale back to center. One breath here. Now, if you want to circle your wrists because you feel like you have had a lot of weight on them, please feel free to rotate wrists one way, then the other way. And thinking about what it is the obstacles, reflecting on the obstacles and hurdles and barriers that we have seen over the last few years. It's been a difficult time since 2016 for many of us, for political reasons. Let's reach out and extend with the left leg, tuck the toes. Reaching out through the toes there. Take a moment here. Inhale, right hand up to the sky. Opening up the heart, lifting your gaze. And let's think about what we are leaving behind as we pass through this doorway into this new era. What it is we hope to achieve the potential for justice and equity, for healing of those who have been ill, of those who have been traumatized. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left. Bring your right ear and shoulder to the mat. Threading here. Now, if you feel stable with your left hand on the earth, stay here. Keep the left toes tucked, pushing out through that right heel. That would add more stability. And if you feel balanced, you can reach up with your left fingertips up to the sky. One more breath here. Exhale, bring in the left hand to the earth. Inhale, reach forward with your right arm so that it's parallel to the earth. Lift that left leg so it's parallel also. Keeping that foot flexed. One more breath here. Hugging in your navel, drawing in the core. As you exhale, bring your hands back down to the earth, right hand to the earth. Take a moment here and come onto your forearms. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, lift the left toes up towards the sky. 
Be active and energetic through that left leg. Hug in the muscles towards the bones. One more breath. Now let's walk that left leg over to the right and bring the foot down to the earth. Tuck the toes. One or two breaths here. And then when you're ready, let's rise up onto our hands. We're going to slide that left knee in towards the right knee, coming into this sort of shoelace legs, gumakasan legs, cow face legs. And again, we're going to sort of reach back with our sit bones, only going as far feels comfortable for us mindful of how our knees feel. So wherever you are in shoelace, gumkasan. And the mantra that I want to, we're working on, Amgam Ganapata Ye Namaha. There's a lovely chant which I might sing along with you, Hari Om. In a moment, let's take a moment and then slide your hands back underneath your shoulders, uncross your legs and then sway your hips from left to right. And then perhaps you circle your hips one way and then hips the other way. And when you're ready here, you're going to tuck the toes. Take a moment here. And then let's rise up into mountain. Pedal your feet. And the mantra that I want to share with you is Hariyom Sharanam Ganesha. And again, it's invoking this sense of the blessings that we need to pass through this doorway of opportunity. When you're ready, come to stillness. We're going to come into a little twist in a moment. So shifting your weight onto your left hand. Now, if it feels too difficult to leave the weight in one hand, because we're gonna lift the right hand and cross it under our body, yogis come onto your knees and cross the hand underneath your body that way. Because what we want to experience is the twist, not necessarily the weight in that left arm or wrist. As you inhale, draw your navel in towards the spine, reach underneath you with your right arm and take hold of anywhere along your leg or foot or ankle and gaze underneath your left armpit. If you are with your knees on the earth, you can still reach as far forward as you can so that you experience the twist. What we're experiencing here is the twist at the belly, Buddha's belly, where imagine that your right hand is his trunk, his trunk that clears our path, this trunk that twists and turns. One more breath here. Turn your head back to center, release your leg. And if you want, you can come onto your knees for a moment. Take a rest. Remember to rotate your wrists one way than the other if you feel that you've been dropping your weight into your wrists. Have the sense that you're connected through your finger pads and your knuckles and lifting out of your wrists. Claw the earth with your hands and that will shift some of the weight out of your wrists. Back into mountain whenever you're ready, Parvatasan. We're shifting the weight towards our right hand so that we can reach underneath and cross the left arm to the outside of our right leg, wrinkle and then gaze underneath your right armpit.
And remember, you can be on your knees here, reaching back with your left hand. Noticing where the sensation is in your torso. So this mantra that I want to talk to you about, you probably think this is not a great time for me to do this. I'll just chant it for you first and then you can join in. It's really straightforward. Let's take a moment here. Release your hands. Come back onto your knees, everybody. Take a moment here. Rotate your wrists one way, then the other way. And then let's come into our Ganesh Mudra at the heart or in the lap. Wherever it feels comfortable for you, sliding your fingers, hooking the ends of your fingers. And our mantra is, and I'll chant it, and then you can do call and response. Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha all together, or we'll call and response. So Sharanam Ganesha means that we are calling upon the highest wisdom and intelligence and taking refuge in his blessing energy. Hariyom, Hariyom kind of means let it go. So be it, going with the flow, seeing where our path takes us, open to new opportunities. So Hariyom is a very open, expansive, um, phrase so we'll do this one more time well we'll do it twice more and just join in whenever you're ready om hari om hari om hari om om hari om hari om hari om Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha coming up onto your knees. And if you are able to come into Malasan by maintaining this mudra, come into Malasan Yogi Swat. Otherwise, release your hands and use helping hands here. So take your knees as wide as they can go. Toes turning out, you can be sitting on your seat or on the floor. We're not here for long. Just one moment here in Malasana. Malasana is the pose that is most associated with Ganesh and the element of earth. This sitting in this yogi squat, a symbol of generosity. See here, all of this space for Ganesh's belly, this belly that holds the wisdom of the universe, this belly full of sweet ladus, offering blessings, blessings to Joe Biden, to Kamala Harris. Harris, you see how I said her name is, it's not, Harris is not an Indian name. <laughs> Harris is actually, yeah, I don't know why I said Harris. 
Kamla Harris. I just say either sp- I either speak Indian, I either speak Punjabi and Hindi, or I speak English. I can't mix the two and maintain the same accent. One more breath here. Release your hands. Inhale, lift your sit bones so that you come into a wide-legged forward fold here. Take a moment here. Your feet can be as wide as your mat. Inhale, walk your hands over to the left. And take your right hand to the left ankle here so that you've crossed your right arm across your body. This left hand can stay on the earth. You can bring it to your left hip or you can reach up towards the sky with your hands in Prithvi Mudra. If I turn around and face you, you can see how I'm here. So our stance is only as wide as our mat. Left hand reaching up, left. Gazing up. Again, think of this extension, this twist and turn here. One breath here, turn your head down, lower the left hand, and then let's walk our hands to center, and then all the way over to the right. And again, take hold of the back of your right leg with your left hand. This right hand can stay on the earth. It can come onto your hips, so you can turn it and gaze up like this, or you can reach up with your right hand. One more breath here. Exhale, turn your gaze down, lower the right hand, walk your hands back to center, taking a moment here, and then let's uncurl our spine to rise up to standing. Coming up slowly into Tadasan. Om Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Om, Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. Let's reach up and over with our hands. Your feet are still hip distance wide. Bend into your knees, reaching up. Prithvi Mudra, take a moment here. Bend into your knees. So variation of chair pose. Oh, I've got hairy armpits. I'm like, what's that there? <laughs> it's hair under my armpits. One breath here. Let's sit back as low as you can go. Now your hands can be parallel to the earth if it feels too much to reach up. One more breath. Really hug in your navel. I know your thighs are feeling it here. Bring your hands to your thighs. Maintain this crouch. So this Utkatasan variation is wide Utkatasan. Inhale, open your heart. So we're going to do a cat cow here. Inhale, open your heart. So push out your tailbone. Dip your lower back. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round through. So cat cow here in Utkatasan. Three rounds, and I, your thighs are feeling it. They feel anything like mine. The fire is burning. We need firepower to affect change when you get a new government, new political leaders. They need fire power to get them through in those early days. And certainly in the first 100 days, Biden's going to give out 100 million vaccines. One more breath, and then let's straighten through our legs, rising up to Tandasan. <sighs> Thighs are going to feel it. Take a moment here. Now, I'm going to invite you to walk towards the top of your mat because we're going to do some, we need some space behind us. So just saunter up to the top of your mat, just taking a walk. Take a moment here. Inhale, shift your weight into your left leg. Bring up your right knee. Now, you can use the wall here. So if you've got the wall, you can place one hand on the wall. 
take a moment here. Reach behind you, interlace all your fingers and draw your knuckles down towards the earth. So this might be feeling like a challenge for you. If you have your hand on the wall, just reach back so that you still feel as if you're reaching through that left hand if that right hand is on the wall. One breath here. Extend this right leg long. Now, depending on how you feel, so you can see my leg is not parallel to the earth. Some of you may be able to lift it up so it's parallel to the earth or a little lower. You could even have it really close to the floor. If you want, you can bring your heel to the earth. I do this because I have very, not very good bits of my body just don't work great. One more breath here, bend into your knee. And now let's reach behind with that right heel. This is why you need space behind you. And remember, you might have your right hand on the wall or you have your hands in a clasp. Reach behind you with that right leg. Reach forward with your heart and crown. So you come into this variation of warrior three, Virabhadrasan three. And if you wobble, reach for the wall. One breath here. Now I'm going to ask you to find the earth behind you with your right toes. And you might, whew, I'm feeling a bit warm now. Tell you what, that fire, I can feel it in me now. So you found the earth either through wobbling, finding the wall, however you found the earth, it's there behind you. It's always there for us to catch as one we fall. One breath here, draw your hands down, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Here we are in Anjani Asan. Releasing this hand now, bring the right fingertips to the earth. Place your palm on the earth. If you want to bring your knee, you're invited to bring your right knee to the earth. Reach up with your left fingertips to the sky. One breath here. Exhale, turn your head down. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Shuffle the left foot out so that your toes are pointing out at the diagonal. Your knee is in the same direction. Winged dragon. That right knee can be lifted or you can bring it onto the mat. We're going to bring our forearms to the earth as an option or stay here. You can also place blocks or a bolster or cushions underneath your forearms. If your forearms are on the earth, interlace your fingers, but make sure you cross them so the opposite thumb is on top. So it feels weird. Your variation of wing dragon, if you wish you can roll onto the outer edge of your left foot and wing out your left knee a little bit further. So here is the power, the power to move forward, the power that we need to drive us into taking up these new opportunities. One more breath here in your variation of dragon, whether high or low, knee on or off the earth, Wherever you are, bring your hands back down to the earth. So lift off your forearms and onto your hands. Bring the right knee to the mat. And then swivel that left foot to the center so that it's underneath, again, aligned with your knee, with your hip. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart and your mudra. Your Ganesh Mutra, lifting your crown. 
And let's breathe here, Ganesh Pranayam. Inhaling to soften through the elbows. Exhaling to activate and extend through the elbows. Three rounds. In Chetakasan here, low lunge. Exhaling to activate, inhaling to soften. Releasing your hands. Take your sit bones back, coming into Ardha Hanumanasan. Half splits pose. And yes, we're going to come into a little twist here. The turns and twists of life. Of obstacles and barriers that we have to overcome in order to find new paths new opportunities, new beginnings. Now let's walk our left hand round over towards our left hip. This right hand crosses over the right leg. Now, if your hands are not connected with the earth, you can use blocks here, or you can bend a little bit more into your knee so that you lower a little bit to the earth. This right leg can have a gentle bend or a deep bend in the knee, Yogi's choice. But spread, so stay on your left heel, spread out the toes. Walking your hands as far over to the left as is comfortable for you to stay balanced here. Inhale, let's walk our hands back, turning our gaze, coming back with care. Take a moment here, step forward onto that left leg, lift the right knee, and then let's step back long with that left leg, body parallel. We're going to come into a forearm phalakasana today, so you can place your forearms on the earth, reach back through those heels. You can bring your knees to the earth. Wherever you are, hug in the navel towards the spine. Three breaths here. Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Om Hari Om Hari Om Everybody lower your knees. Take a moment and slide your knees away. Take out your elbows. Cross your hands and let your eyebrows center rest on the back of your hands here for a moment. In Makarasan Crocodile Pose. You'll notice the naughty puppy is not here with us today because of all his barking in yin. Disturbing everybody's shavasana. One more breath here. Slide your hands next to your shoulders, tuck in your elbows, inhale to rise and cobra. One breath here. Press into your hands. Take a moment here. In table and then let's lift into mountain coming into your mountain and now for our mountain let's take our feet as wide as our mat our hands as wide as our mat taking up space here Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha, Sharanam Ganesha, one more here, and then let's walk our feet to the top of the mat to come into a forward fold here. Your feet can be wide or they can be a little bit closer. Unfurl your spine. To rise up into Tadasan. Oh. 
And now let's work on the other side. Take a moment here. Connecting with which new potential, new opportunities you are looking forward to. Shifting the weight into the right leg now. Inhale and lift your left knee. Again, you can use your hand on the wall to support you. Interlace your fingers behind you. Drawing your hands down and away, shoulder blades together. Find your drishti, your focal point, parallel to the horizon ahead of you. Extend through that right heel. So our leg will be in different places here. Bending through, let's thread that left foot behind us. Extending that left leg behind us, crown and heart reaching forward. Coming into Buddha Badasan three. And if you wobble, allow your foot to fall, rebalance and come back into your asana. Let's find the earth behind us with the left foot. The ball of the foot comes to rest on the earth. And then inhaling, coming into our variation of Anjanasana. So if you want to widen your stance here, you can widen your stance. Draw your hands down towards the earth. Open your heart. Releasing your hands. Let's find the earth with the left hand. Inhale, lift the right fingers to the sky. Exhaling, bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Shuffle the right foot out to come into your winged dragon. So your toes and knees are pointing at an angle 45 degree angle. That left knee can stay lifted or you can bring it onto the earth. Again, you can stay on your hands or come onto your forearms. If you're coming onto your forearms, interlace your fingers and recross your thumbs so it feels as if you have a finger missing because that way, otherwise we end up using our dominant thumb on top every time. Om Gangana Pataye Namaha. So I often use mantra in my practice to stop the distractions that I may experience, to bring me back into the practice on the mat, to bring a devotional element to my practice so that I am bringing a sense of purpose, intention to my practice. One more breath here. Take a moment, lower that left knee, rise up onto your hands if you're on your forearms, shuffle the right foot back towards the center. Taking your moment here. Inhale to rise up. Let's come into our mudra at the heart. Ganesh mudra and practice three rounds with Ganesh Pranayam. Inhaling to soften through the elbows. Exhaling to extend through the elbows as if you're drawing your hands apart. Inhaling to soften, exhaling to extend. So you'll notice that your elbows will drop on Here's the inhale. What I found. Siri is listening to me. This is it. Random. And then bringing the concept of invitation on the inhale and the concept of offering up. And when you've completed your three rounds without being disturbed by your phone or your watch, let's bring our hands down towards the earth. Reach back with our left sit bone and roll onto the heel of that right leg coming into Ardha Hanumanasana. 
And again, you can have your hands on blocks here, or you can have a, a deep bend in your knees. Stay on the heel of that foot. The yoga I practice is accessible yoga. It's not perfectionist. It's not idealized or fetishized. One more breath here. Let's walk the right hand over towards the right and cross the left hand over the right leg and walk your hands as far as feels comfortable for you to come into this twist over to the right in Ardha Hanumanasana. Om Hari Om Hari. And when you have settled there, then let's walk our hands back round, taking that slow walk with your hands. Roll through that foot. Take a moment here and then let's lift that left knee, step back with the right foot coming into our phallicus and plank and I invite you to come onto your forearms here. You can bring your knees to the earth. Fingers are spread wide. Push out through your heels. Perhaps you bring your feet close together so that your legs feel as if they're one solid trunk. Exhale, lower your knees. Untuck your toes, come into Mukhasan Crocodile for a moment. Inhale, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your elbows, rise in Cobra Bhujangasan. Pressing into your hands, back into Parvatasan, mountain. And again, take this wide mountain. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Turn your toes out. Bend into your knees, coming into Malasan Yogi Squat. And again, coming into your mudra. You can be sitting on the earth here. This feels more sustainable for you. One full breath here. And then let's release our hands, come onto our sit bones. And let's lower directly to the earth. Reach overhead with your hands. Now, if you have space, you can interlace all of your fingers into yoga mudra. Reaching overhead and stretching out where your arms, your legs, you can keep your feet flat on the earth because for some of us, when we extend our legs, this might cause discomfort in our lower back. But if it doesn't cause you discomfort, extend both your legs. Inhaling, bend into your right knee. Take your hand and take hold of your right knee. Keep your hands clasped here, hugging that right knee. Spread out your toes, push through the heel. And as you exhale, roll over onto your left hip and bring your right knee down towards the earth. And take your gaze over to the right. The left hand can stay supporting that top of that right leg. Perhaps on your right hand, you come into your Prithvi Mudra, ring to thumb. And as you are here in your 
recline twist. I want to read you a poem today by Langston Hughes. Democracy will not come today, this year, nor ever through compromise and fear. I have as much right as the other fellow has to stand on my two feet and own the land. <clears throat> I tire so of hearing people say, <clears throat> let things take their course. Tomorrow is another day. I do not need my freedom when I'm dead. I cannot live on tomorrow's bread. Freedom is a strong seed planted in a great need. I live here too. I want freedom just as you. Inhaling, bring the knee back to centre, rolling onto your back. Interlace your fingers again and hug that right knee in. Extend the leg to the sky. So you can take your interlaced hands behind the thigh. Activate and energise through this right leg. Imagining the energy reaching out through your toes and then flex your foot, push out through the heel of that foot. And then let's lower that right leg down to the earth. Or if you have your feet on the earth, bring it with your knees bent, bring it to the earth in that way. Reach overhead with your hands. Now this time cross your fingers the other way so the Thumb feels odd. Hug in that left knee. I think the naughtiness is spreading through the dogs. Bless you. Hugging it in. And then when you're ready, let's roll over onto the right hip and bring that left knee down towards the earth. Right hand on top of your left knee, left arm away, finger and ring finger and thumb connected in Prithvi Mudra. Perhaps you gaze over towards the left, your twist here. Democracy will not come today, this year, nor ever through compromise and fear. I have as much right as the other fella has, to stand on my two feet and own the land. I tire so of hearing people say, let things take their course. Tomorrow is another day. I do not need my freedom when I'm dead. I cannot live on tomorrow's bread. Freedom is a strong seed planted in a great need. I live here too. I want freedom, just as you. Inhaling, bring that knee back to center, hug it in. Take your hands to the back of the left thigh, reach up through that left leg, point through the toes so that the energy is flowing through that left leg. Remember that right foot can be bent, and um, that right knee can be bent with your foot in the air. And then flex the left foot, pushing out through the heel. Release the leg, lower it to the earth, stretch overhead, big stretch here. And then let's roll on to our side. Pressing into the hands to help you up to a comfortable seat. Oh, I'm gonna do this practice again. Coming on to your seat in Sukhasana. 
bring your hands into your Ganesh Mudra either in the lap or in front of the heart. Remember the left hand is closest to your body. Closing your eyes, closing our practice of new day, new beginnings. This inauguration, not only for America, but for the global community, the global village that we are. Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Om Hari Om Hari Om Hari Om Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Ganesha, Sharanam Ganesha, Sharanam Ganesha. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Danyavad, Danyavad. Thank you, yogis. Here's to a time for fulfillment of potential that all have, not just some. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Have a wonderful evening. Watch the inauguration replay, especially Kamala Harris. Come, Auntie Kamala, as we all call her. <laughs>